Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by A.G. Hines Company. We always tell you about the history of A.G. Hines Company. Why wouldn't we? Four generations, 100 years, it says a lot. But A.G. Hines Company provides you with cutting-edge building materials for the future, like Nudura concrete forms that make your project energy efficient and cost efficient. A.G. Hines Company, that's the place to go if you have any kind of building project going on. Go with the local guys. They take care of you. Hines Street in downtown Knoxville, aghines.com. Either one, the way to go. All right. Tennessee opens the season against Virginia in Nashville, but they were initially scheduled to play the road portion of home and home at BYU. The Vols decided to buy their way out of that one, saying that they needed the money provided by a Nashville game instead, and they also cited fan travel. It's easier to go to Nashville. Now, when I was growing up, I remember – well, heck, up until about five years ago. So I was well grown up. I remember fans saying, oh, cool, we're going to Oregon. Oh, cool, we're going to Oklahoma, Notre Dame. Apparently, no, we don't want to go to Provo. We want Nashville. Well, let's take a look at the Virginia-BYU comparison here. Last year, Virginia, well, obviously playing in Nashville, would have been playing in Provo, Utah. Virginia last year, 3-7. and seven. Again, after the shooting death of three of their players, they canceled their two last games. They only played 10 last year. BYU was 8-5 and five last year. Now, what may make it interesting is Tony Elliott was, if you believe the reports, expected he was the first choice for Danny White to be the head coach here. He said no, then Danny White went and talked to James Franklin, and then, as it sometimes works for you, get lucky, and you bring in Josh Heupel, who did more than probably Tony Elliott could have done. Elliott turned you down, stayed at Clemson one more year, and then took the Virginia job. If you're thinking, well, this is a good opponent, they get no. Tennessee's favored by 27 to 29 points, depending on who you're looking at. Uh, since 2015, Tennessee has played eight games in Nashville, four against Vandy, and then f uh, four of those being at Nissan Stadium. So this isn't very new. That's just in the last eight years. So uh, when you look at this, is this an interesting opener, or would you prefer to see them open up against BYU? I would prefer to see them open against BYU. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a problem with playing Virginia. I think Virginia is, for some reason, it's a school I've always kind of liked. I don't have a problem with what's going to happen during that game when all the emphasis is going to be on Virginia because of the tragedy they had last year. But I would rather have seen them gone to BYU. I think it would have been a great trip because I was in the exact spot about the exact oh, time yeah. last year. I was out there on a hunting trip. It's a fantastic place to be. It's absolutely the gorgeous. The stadium is like right in a mountainside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean, I, I think it would have been a fantastic game for Tennessee fans to travel to. Um, yes, I would rather see them play BYU. As somebody who wants, you know, great college football games, I definitely want the BYU game. But I think from a fan perspective, fans don't want to play interesting games or big games. They want to win big games. So if you offered them, hey, you can get your heart broken by, you know, Mormon Menzel part two or whatever, or you can go beat Virginia or beat UT Martin or whoever you want to yeah. beat by a lot of points, like, they would take the win. And you look at especially a team that, you know, hey, we want to be in the, you know, in the, in the talk for the playoff and all these things, especially when you get to the 12 team. You know, if you play a stronger schedule up front, it can help you. But – Last year, if Tennessee had lost <laughs> that BYU game or something early on, then they're not number one in the country. They're not, uh, you know, a step away from the playoff. And there's some value in that. Well, so maybe they need to get out of the SEC. They win a lot of games. <laughs> yeah. Say the, the it's not belt. wrong. You're not wrong. Those, you know what? <laughs> Ohio there. Valley Conference, I think they'd be favored. See, I, <laughs> I, I hate that way. Of th I think you're right. I think mm -hmm. most fans, and we'll talk about this later in the show when we talk about non-conference schedule, I think most fans just want the wins. Mm -hmm. They don't care where they play, and they don't care if it's a good team. Just give us wins. That would be, as a Patriots fan who's used to seeing them win and now they suck, I don't want them moving to the CFL so I can see them win. I want them to win against the best of the best in the NFL. So that is completely foreign to me. Vince, where are you on? you prefer Virginia? Is that the smarter open for Tennessee? Or would you prefer BYU just from the media perspective? I, I would prefer BYU. And I do think, and David's right, mm -hmm. in that there's plenty of fans that want the wins. Those are the fans that you hear from. <laughs> the ones that are just the ones that spend the money and travel, I think they like the experience still. And those are, are now becoming so few and far between, I think they would cherish that trip. And probably not a bad thing that they're also beatable. It's not like, oh, my gosh, we're yeah. really going to get our butts kicked. Why am I going to spend the money? 
yeah, if, if Tennessee's thinking they're going to be in the national championship hunt and yet they're scared of an 8-5 and five BYU <laughs> team, i got news for you. You don't belong in the national championship Well, I think that's, oh, one, wow. I think that's one plus of the 12-team playoff is you really are incentivized to right. play bigger games early on. For one, you get a boost. For two, if you lose, it's not like, well, we got our mulligan. Now we got to run the table to get to the playoff and have any chance to play for the yeah, title. Right. If you lose that game, you're still probably going to get a nice bump in your schedule, and, and that can yeah. be the difference between – because in that case, if you lose to a top-five team or you beat an FCS team, that loss will actually – probably help, help you. you yeah and here's the other thing if you were going to play virginia why not play them in knoxville if you were going to dump byu make it another home game i know but i i, I mean still at, at i some bet point the local down, businesses would have preferred that yeah tennessee doesn't care about this but it would have been nice to break that narrative of sec teams that they never go anywhere that everyone always go, comes to them. That yeah. would have been nice from a, just a big picture standpoint. There's also been the, the talk that, and I've heard this, some people made this, well, you're breaking in a new quarterback. <laughs> breaking in a new quarterback. You don't want to have Joe Milton start his first game. It's like they said, he started an Orange Bowl against Clemson. He, he started at Michigan. Yes. He started here, and he started an Orange Bowl last year. This is not like you're taking Nico Iamaliava and throwing him out there on the road in his first game. And he wouldn't have been starting against Georgia's defense either. Yeah. yeah. Well, exactly. All right. Well, when we come back. Is Florida no longer a big game for Tennessee? Is that no longer a worry? <laughs> Seems like a lot of people are kind of overlooking it. Our fans uh, sleep in some media, sleeping on the Gators. We'll discuss that next. Come on back on the Sports Source.